Now we discuss about the duodenum part fourth. This is this is fourth part. Here, length of this part is about two point five centimeter. This distal end of this is movable, and rest part is retroperitoneal. That's why rest part is fixed. The posterior relation of this structure lying behind it. Here is position of the. This is position of the. Fourth part of the duodenum. Posterior is related with this. Here you can see, it is related with the. This is sympathetic chain. Here is inferior mesenteric vein. This is inferior mesenteric vein. Here is left goanter artery. Sorry, left renal artery. Here is left goanter artery. This is left. And this is abdominal aorta. So these structures related posteriorly. And one important thing. And the it is related with the here you can see this is transverse colon this is transverse colon it is related anteriorly and the structure it lies superiorly here is position of pancreas so pancreas lies superiorly and inferiorly there are coils of intestine is present here so these are relations of the Fourth part of duodenum. Now, one important thing that is suspensory ligament of the duodenum are ligament of Treach. This is ligament of here. You can see here if you make a diagram. This is first, second, third, and this fourth part. This is fourth part, and this part here. This is junction of the. This is duodenal jejunal junction. Here is jejunal. This is duodenal duodenal. This is duodenal jejunal junction. Here, one ligament is present. Here is position of opening in the diaphragm. Esophageal opening. This is a right crust of the diaphragm. From here, the fibromuscular band attached to this. This is ligament of Treach. Its upper one third part is made up of stapled muscle. Middle part is fibrous, and lower part is smooth muscle. So it is divided in three parts. This is ligament of Treach. Here it. Attached at this junction, when this contract, then there is angle between this fourth part of duodenum and the jejunum. This angle becomes increase; it widens, so it facilitates the passage of the bolus. Easily, bolus passes through this when this angle is increased. In some cases. This is only attached here. At this point, in this case, if this if this contract, then this angle become reduced like this from here to the like this. This during contraction, this angle become reduced like this. So that's why it causes obstruction. In passage of the bolus, so this is clinical importance of the ligament of trees. Thank you.